Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. And in this video, we are going to answer the question, what are React hooks? Because we've been hearing the word React hooks around. The hype has been built. We've talked about it on podcasts. We've talked about it on YouTube. Now, in this video, we are going to demystify what the heck React hooks even are. From there, we are going to get into practical usages of React hooks. We're going to build out some cool stuff. And by the end of this course, you are going to be a hooks master. So let's get going right now. Okay, so this series is going to dive into React hooks. Now, this first video is all about what are React hooks, right? Before we get into how to use them, why we need to use them, we need to talk a little bit about what they actually are. So React hooks is basically a new addition into React version 16.8 that allow you to use state and other lifecycle methods within a function-based component. Now, if that sounds sort of weird to you, then go ahead and rewatch the React 16 for Everyone series where we do talk about function-based components. Now, in that series, we called them functional stateless components because at the time they were stateless. Now, they're really just function components, and we can use things like state within our function components in addition to having more control over the life cycle of these components. And we can do so using something called use effect, which is a new hook as well. Now, one of the cool things about use effect and some of these other hooks is that it allows us to break out functionality into reusable functions. And you can almost think about this as the same way that we could break out UI stuff into components. We can break out actual functionality into reusable functions, AKA hooks that we can throw inside of our function based components. Now, these things are really super cool. Now, at, at the very most basic level, just saying, hey, you can use state lifecycle refs and all that stuff inside of a function based component. It doesn't sound the most glamorous. However, by the time you're done with this series, you're going to understand just how powerful React hooks can be. We can do things like write a custom hook that has all this additional functionality. For instance, a custom hook that determines if a click is inside of a div or not, or a custom hook that allows you to easily access local storage via a simple function. Now, these things, again, are a lot of the time with this stuff, specifically React hooks, the proof is in the pudding, aka you got to get down and using some of this stuff to really see how awesome it is. So over the course of this series, you're going to see a lot of not only educational examples, but of also a lot of practical examples about how to use React hooks. So again, React hooks are just a new feature in React that allows us to use things like state and allows us to control life cycles. Not only that, but build out custom functionality for function based components. Okay, so at its most basic level, a React hook is just some additional functionality to function based components. Now these things are more exciting than that leads you on. So let's go ahead and dive into react hooks in react hooks for everyone. If you want to watch this entire series, head on over to leveluptutorials.com forward slash pro sign up to become a level up pro. If you sign up for the year, you get access to 12 new additional series and you save 25% off. So make that happen and check out react hooks for everyone. 